Hi. So I've been in LA for about two days now on my way to Thailand. And I'm visiting my cousin Aaron and his wife Leah in their very lovely home. They're very hospitable, lovely people. And uh, they've made me feel very welcome. But even though I was born in LA and I lived here till I was 10, I don't feel at home here. It's not my town. I haven't been here since I was a kid. You know, you just feel alien. You feel foreign when you're in a strange town. But it got me thinking about something. I want to share this with you. Last time I was in Bangkok was December 2021. I guess that's about six months ago, maybe. And uh, I always stay at the same place. I stay at the uh, Majestic Suites on Sukhumvit at Soy 4 because it's cheap and clean and safe and the desk staff don't make joiners feel uncomfortable. And it's around the corner from Nana, so there's always action, there's always noise, shit happening. And uh, so I was there in December last year, and of course everything was still COVID shutdown, and it was very quiet, and I was jet lagged, I wasn't sleeping, so I'd go out every hour and have a cigarette on the sidewalk, as is my habit. And I was out at three in the morning on Sukhumvit, and it was absolutely deserted, it was silent, it was empty. And the Yam Fao Yu is sleeping in the lobby of the hotel, and the cop is asleep in his kiosk there at the corner of Soy 4. So I'm standing there smoking a cigarette, and the garbage truck goes by, and like any garbage truck anywhere, it's leaving a snail trail of slimy water behind it. So the light turns red, and a taxi pulls up and stops at the red light. And this young man, about 19, 20 years old, comes flying up on a motorcycle and he's got a very pretty young woman behind him also 19 20 years old and he goes to stop but he's in that snail trail of slimy garbage truck water and he starts to slide and he's not going to be able to stop so in a panic he lays down his bike and he and the bike are now on dry pavement and they slide to a stop but the young lady goes on her belly on that snail trail of disgusting filthy water and she goes sliding forward at about 30 clicks right into the rear wheel of the stop taxi face first and uh, the taxi driver gets out and he starts walking around his car looking for damage and he ignores the young woman lying on her belly behind his rear wheel and the young man stands up he lifts up his bike and he walks it to the curb, he puts it on its kickstand, and he starts walking around his little motorcycle looking for damage. He's ignoring the young lady. The cop wakes up, he comes out of his kiosk, and he uh, uh, comes over and starts berating the young man for his driving habits. He's ignoring the young lady. She gets up, she crawls to the curb, sits on the curb weeping. She is covered head to toe in slimy, filthy garbage water, and she literally has a, a, a tire print on her face. And uh, finally, the, the taxi driver says to the cop, I was just sitting here, can I go? And the cop says, yeah, go. And the cop finishes chewing out the young man. The cop goes back in his kiosk. And the young man gets on his bike and he starts it and he pulls up to where the girl is sitting on the curb. He says, uh, let's go. And without a word to him, she gets on the back of his bike and he takes off again at speed again. And I'm standing alone on a silent, empty Sukhumvit at three in the morning. And I finish my cigarette. All of this has taken place in the time it takes to smoke a single cigarette. And I turn around and the Yam Fao Yu is still asleep inside the lobby of the hotel. All of this has taken place maybe 20 feet in front of where he's sleeping. But it, there's a glass wall between him and the action. He's just slept through it. And I felt at home in that moment on Sukhumvit at 3 a.m. having just witnessed a near fatal accident, I felt perfectly at ease, perfectly uh, like everything was in its place, like I was in my place, that this is where I, I belong. I felt more at home on Sukhumvit at 3 a.m. than I did in eight years in New Mexico. So make of that what you will. I will be in Thailand, I think, about May 15th. And God willing, I'll be there for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> so look in front of the Majestic Suites at 3 o'clock in the morning. 
and uh, you'll see me. You'll see me being very happy there for God knows what reason. Thank you for listening.